Hi again, Year 5 and 6. This is Lesson 4 on our unit of work on the Pie Piper of Hamlin by Robert Browning. In this session, we're going to look at how to summarise a text. Before we look at how to do this today, you'll need to pause this video and read from verse 14 to the end of the poem using your version of the text. Remember, once again, to clarify the meaning of any any unknown vocabulary. Look back at lesson one's video to recap the strategies if you need to. And when you've done that, click play and we'll continue with the lesson together. So first we're gonna consider, how do we know if something is a main event or a main point in a story? Pause the video, have a chat with an adult at home or jot down some ideas to this question and then click play. One way of knowing whether an event is a main event is if you were to take it out, then the story would completely change. So we're gonna use that today when deciding what is a main event in the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Before we do that, we're going to look at skimming skills and what that means. If we skim through a text, we read it quickly to get the gist of what it's about. So as you are summarising today, you don't need to read every single word in the poem because you've already by now read the whole poem. So when you're reading the verses back, you are just reminding yourself what that verse is about. So I'm going to model how to skim out loud by reading verse one, but only focusing on the main words within each line. Hamlin Town, Brunswick, famous Hanover City, river, weather, deep, wide, washer's wall, southern side, pleasant to spot, never spied, but when begins ditty 500 years ago, townsfolk suffer from vermin, from vermin was pity. So I'd be doing that really quickly in my head as I'm reading, just picking out the keywords. So is there something here that is a main point that if I was to take it out, the story would completely change? Well, Brunswick used to be a pleasant place. And that is important because that is something that changed once the vermin or the rats came. So that would be the main point in this verse. What I want you to do now is skim through the poem a verse at a time and jot down any main events in the story, just two or three words that come to mind to summarise any main events. Alternatively, you might want to use the YouTube link on the class page to listen to the story being read aloud as you jot the main events. This can be found under the English text where it tells you what you're doing in English this week. So pause the video and have a go at doing that. Then we'll come back together to look at the next part. So now you should have some notes about the main events in the story. Here's some that I have prepared. So the first main event is the description of Brunswick. Then the description of the rats. The part talking about what happened at the town hall. The introduction of the Pied Piper. And then how he plays his tune. So I've decided to summarise into six key points. You might have got more, that's absolutely fine. So what you need to do now is have a go at turning your notes of the key events into a paragraph. And in the paragraph, you're going to summarise in as few words as possible what happens in this story. So the description of Brunswick, I've turned that event into this when I've paraphrased and put it in my own words. Almost 500 years ago, Hamlin Town in Brunswick was a pleasant place until one day it was overrun with rats. So I've given the detail, like I said earlier, about how Brunswick has changed due to the rats. I'd then go on to write a sentence about event two, three, four, 
and five in my list. And then you might also want to, I've missed one off there, sorry guys, um, make a note about number six, which is also key, is the children following the Pied Piper, as that completely changes the ending of the story if we forget that, um, just like I've done there. So now you are ready to use English Activity 4 sheet to summarise the poem. When you've finished, have a look at the answers and read the example summary that I've written. Remember, that's just one way of summarising. When you do read those answers, you might have done it differently. So just read yours against that to see how you've got on. <laughs> 